now on Coast TV News. The offshore wind saga continues. Details about an upcoming meeting to go over plans for the construction of wind turbines off the coast. In Vice Presidential Debate Recap, a look at the highlights from the high stakes face off between Minnesota Governor Tim Walz and U.S. Senator J.D. Vance from Ohio. This is Coast TV News Midday. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Melissa Weber and welcome to Coast TV News Midday. We're going to take a live look outside into Rehoboth Beach right now and our first cert meteorologist, Bob Trey, he is going to join us. Bob, the beach right there, it actually, it looks pretty nice out. I told you earlier, I want to see the sun come back. I miss the sun. So tell us a little bit about what today is going to look like. Good morning, Elisa. Good morning, Del Mar. But yeah, you know, October is just two days old, Elisa, and here we are. We're socked in with the clouds, and I think we're all pining for the sun. It will come out eventually, but really not today. We're seeing a lot of clouds on the visible satellite picture across Sussex County. We had a little bit of drizzle, light rain earlier. Salisbury, you're cloudy towards the coast as well. And for the eastern shore, you're cloudy. Maybe a few spits of rain there, but it's just a lot of clouds with some breaks here and there. We do have a cold front back to our west, and out ahead of it still, uh, enough moisture where we could ring out maybe a sprinkle the next hour or so, but this cold front will move in later today and weekend, but still bring in some drier air. Temperatures now 68 Georgetown and Millsboro, 67 Indian River inland, and right now Lewis, you're at 68 degrees. We've got a stronger east-northeast flow. The winds uh, sustain around 10 to 15 along the coast and at times gusting around 20. So at time of high tide, watch for a little inundation, maybe a little flooding. Otherwise, we're looking at lots of clouds right through early afternoon, maybe a little bit of drizzle. Otherwise, we'll see those clouds begin to break up later this afternoon and into this evening as well. Day apart forecast has a lot of clouds, but some peaks of sun, especially later in the day and on the cool side with temperatures in the lower 70s and then the sun finally returns, especially end of the week into the weekend. Great looking forecast there. I'll have more on that coming up in just a few minutes. Thank you, Bob. And happening today, the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management will begin a series of public meetings regarding plans for the construction of offshore wind turbines. The structures would be as close as 3.5 miles from the Ocean City shoreline, and the proposed project would be in addition to 114 938 foot tall turbines 10.7 miles from the shoreline that were already approved earlier in September. That meeting is tonight at 6 to 8 p.m., and people can register online. And also happening today, after a firefighter was killed in the line of duty, Ellendale will discuss plans to honor its fallen hero. The town council will discuss installing a tree or bench for Thomas Barry III. Barry was killed by an electrical pole when trying to help victims of a car accident, and Barry volunteered in Ellendale and Georgetown Fire Companies. You can hear the potential plans at the town council meeting at 7 p.m. tonight. Delaware State Police will continue investigating an armed robbery and vehicle theft that happened around 5.15 on Sunday morning in Millsboro. According to police, two victims had driven to the location to meet someone when a female victim got out of her car to enter another car with the suspect. She was robbed at gunpoint, and the suspect also took an undisclosed amount of cash. Meanwhile, another unidentified suspect forced a male victim out of his car and then drove away in that stolen vehicle. The vehicle was later detected by detectives, and CoastTV.com has more details on this story. Delawareans across the state are looking to help fellow Americans in need in the aftermath of Hurricane Helene. Local businesses and churches hosting Hurricane Helene relief donation drives. Sherry Long is a veteran and is now accepting donations at Old Paths Church of Christ in Georgetown. And Long says as a veteran, this service is special to her. This is not about a party. This is not about a partisanship. This is about caring about your fellow man. Someone needs. And we need to help one another. That's what we're supposed to do. The first round of donations will be accepted at Old Paths Church of Christ until Friday. And you can drop off items between 9 a.m. and noon. And drivers in Ocean City get ready for another special event zone. According to the Ocean City Police Department, from October 8th to the 13th, there will be a special event zone for the endless summer cruising event. This will mean reduced speed limits and increased fines for traffic violations, plus a strong police presence to enforce traffic laws. And attendees are urged to keep sidewalks clear and follow pedestrian safety guidelines. Trailer parking permits are required for participants, with limited parking options available during this time. 
and the vice presidential nominees, Democratic Governor Tim Walz and Republican Senator J.D. Vance, squared off overnight in the first and only vice presidential debate. Their answers to important questions showed how razor tight the race for the White House is with less than five weeks until Election Day. NBC's Alice Barr shows us how each made a case for their candidacy. Won the virtual coin toss and elected In a largely civil debate, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz and Ohio Senator J.D. Vance frequently referenced common ground while sparring over profound policy disagreements on immigration. You've got to stop the bleeding. You've got to re-implement Donald Trump's border policies, build the wall, re-implement deportations. Governor Walz bringing up the tanked bipartisan border bill. Donald Trump said no told them to vote against it because it gives him a campaign issue. When you don't want to solve it, you demonize it. Pivoting to Trump Vance false claims about Haitian migrants in Springfield, Ohio, that led to a dispute over fact-checking and muted mics. Abortion, another focal point, Senator Vance saying Republicans need to earn back voter trust on the issue. The proper way to handle this, as messy as democracy sometimes is, is to let voters make these decisions, let the individual states make their abortion policy. How can we as a nation say that your life and your rights, as basic as the right to control your own body, is determined on geography. The nominees trading barbs over the economy. Kamala Harris's atrocious economic record, which has made gas, groceries, and housing unaffordable for American citizens. Kamala Harris's day one was Donald Trump's failure on COVID that led to the collapse of our economy. In another flashpoint, Senator Vance refusing to acknowledge former President Trump lost the 2020 election. Tim, I'm focused on the future. Did Kamala Harris censor Americans from speaking their mind in the wake of the 2020 COVID situation? That is, a damning, to... that is a damning non-answer. The candidates fighting for an edge in likely the final debate before Election Day. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. Coming up after the break, increased fees for emergency services. Why the Rehoboth Beach Volunteer Fire Company says more money is needed as calls continue to rise. At the Delmarva Design Center, appliances, cabinetry, countertop, tile, and flooring come together in one showroom. We have specialists in each division, such as myself and appliances, to ensure that you not only get the best product for your needs, but that your selection fits seamlessly with every element of your remodel. It's always fun bringing clients into Delmarva Design Center. No matter how much they want to spend, there's always an option for people to pick something that they like. Del Marva Design Center. Great design starts with great inspiration. Selbyville, Delaware. Elevate your business and engage more customers with Draper Media. Our diverse network of media properties such as WBOC, Coast TV, 93.5 The Beach, and 1025 WBOC reaches over a half a million Delmarva residents across various channels like television, radio, social media, and digital platforms. Enhance your brand's visibility across the Delmarva region with Draper Media. Our passionate team of media specialists and content creators are dedicated to showcasing your brand through engaging commercials, dynamic drone footage, eye-catching graphic and web design, and social media branding. Share your brand story on our popular programs, capturing the attention of your target audience. Trust your brand with Draper Media, a family-oriented company serving the Delmarva community. Contact Frank Hamilton today at fhamilton at wboc.com to get started. I would never take a tax credit that I wasn't entitled to. Angela also Brooks took tax deductions she did not qualify for. Also Brooks improperly took advantage of tax breaks she did not qualify for. Also Brooks claimed a homestead tax break for a townhouse she rented. Also Brooks is accused of improperly claiming senior citizens tax breaks. She used multiple methods which she was not qualified for to save thousands of dollars. No, I don't. I don't believe I'm above the law. Maryland's future is responsible for the content of this advertising. If you've inherited a home or have a distressed property that you just want to be done with, then call me, Delmarva Dave. I buy houses. The process is simple. I'll make you a fast cash offer and close in 30 days so you can just move on. No agents, no showings, no repairs, and no stress. It really is that simple when you work with a professional home buyer like me, Delmarva Dave. I'll make selling your home a breeze. The Rehoboth 
Beach Volunteer Fire Company says funds supporting their services have dropped. Yet the fire company says the number of ambulance calls this summer was higher than in the past four years. A new fee would have taxpayers within the city as well as businesses help chip in. And Rudolph Gonzalez, who works on the boardwalk, says this fee could upset a lot of people. Honestly, frustration because prices are already up. People are already paying higher taxes higher rent, and this is just another fee. Actually, this summer wasn't as great as other summers as far as business, so a lot of the businesses are down. I don't know how they feel about having to whip out an extra fee. The fire company plans to meet with the city and create a task force to come up with an equal plan for everyone. We're still seeing lots of clouds across Delmarva this morning. Here's Laurel, maybe a few peaks of sun for you, 68 degrees, and you're only warming a couple degrees into the lower 70s. Maybe still a little bit of patchy drizzle out there, otherwise a drying trend in store as we go through time. We'll see increasing amounts of sunshine. The rest of the weekend, the weekend's looking good. I'll break down the forecast coming up after the break. Are you tired of rust stains, funny smells, and floaties? Are you concerned about contaminants in your water? City or well, call Shore Water Refining. We'll perform a comprehensive water analysis and offer a cost-effective solution in less than 48 hours. From whole house systems with water softeners designed for Delmarva to reverse osmosis bottle quality water right at your sink. Shore Water Refining, family owned and operated for over 50 years. Call or visit us online at shorewaterde.com today. At East Coast Campers and More, we believe that having a camper is about enjoying the adventure, time with the family, and your escape to nature. From the buying journey to seamless setup, we've got you covered. Walking you through every step, making sure you're spending the most time enjoying what's out there. If you need us after setting up, our mobile RV medics will come to you providing the highest quality of services and repairs. Come start your adventure in Frankfort, Delaware at East Coast Campers and More. Taylor Oil Company leads a family of services offering energy solutions to Delmarva since 1927. Summer heat can be taxing on cooling systems. Now is the time to look into savings offered by the latest energy efficient heat pumps and air conditioning systems. E.T. Travis can recommend the best solution for your needs with just the right system for your home or business. The Taylor Oil Family of Services. One number for all your energy needs. Call 410-749-2151. Day or night, our service never sleeps. You should you shouldn't have to choose between the kitchen update you need and the vacation you want. With Paul Davis, you can have both. Change the look of your entire kitchen. Get all new doors, drawers, and hardware without any major demolition. And it's done in as little as three days. All for half the cost of a tear out. And that vacation you wanted? We'll give you that too. Pay nothing for 12 months and get a luxury vacation for two extended only through October. Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling. Your child deserves the best. When your child is sick, every moment counts. And the team at Title Health Pediatrics understands the urgency of such situations. Whether it's a sudden fever, a troubling cough, or another pediatric ailment, your child will be seen when they need it most. Schedule your child's appointment now at titlehealth.org slash findapediatrician or call 410-912-5785 because your child's health is our top priority. Title Health Pediatrics, compassionate care when you need it most. We're only two days into the month of October, but so far it's pretty gloomy out there. We've had a lot of humidity, not a lot of rain and a persistent onshore flow as well. Here's our tunnel and razor cam from Lewis. You're at 69 degrees. It's showing calm here, but clearly the uh, flags are moving as we have an easterly flow and some of those gusts coming up to about 20 miles per hour at times and into the afternoon. We're looking at temperatures maybe near 70 right now and along the coast east northeast wind around 10 to 15 miles per hour and even a little breezier inland too but the higher gusts are right along the coast close to 20 miles per hour there so that stronger breeze on shore coupled with the high tide well we could see maybe a little bit of minor flooding into the afternoon coastal flood advisory Kent and Sussex 
Essex counties until this afternoon at noon, maybe a little Astawoman Bay and then back into the Indian River Inlet, possibly a little bit of flooding at a high tide and from Cambridge down to Crisfield Coastal Flood Advisory uh, that goes until Thursday morning. Once again, a time of high tide. That's where you could see a little bit of flooding. Otherwise, visible satellite picture. Anytime you see this much white, that means we have a lot of clouds and a few breaks uh, where we have some of that black farther south into the west as well. But it's more clouds than sun right now as we're socked in with the moisture across the area. There is a cold front back to our west now making its way through central PA on into West Virginia. Out ahead of it, lots of clouds and even a few showers along the front. I think a lot of those will dry up, but maybe a few sprinkles into the afternoon. And then behind the front, we're looking at high pressure and drier weather to come. Right now, temperatures are on the cool side, mid to upper 60s, even 70 in Salisbury, 68 in Georgetown. We're only going to rise a couple more degrees into the afternoon. Here's future cast at noon. Lots of clouds, a few breaks, lower 70s inland, upper 60s at the beaches. And I think we'll start to see more breaks a little bit later on in the afternoon with lower 70s uh, for the areas away from the beaches. But along the coast, we're into the upper 60s. And then this evening, we start to clear it out. Could see a little bit of patchy fog overnight as temperatures by Thursday morning in the 50s, inland 60s at the coast. And Thursday, we do dry it out a little more with highs into the mid 70s. And then Thursday night into Friday morning, the drier air comes in and it's a little cooler too. Friday morning into the mid 50s and a good looking afternoon on the way with temperatures into the 70s and looking good for Friday evening football games as well. Here's our muggy meter where we will start to get into that comfortable range in the next several days, more so into the weekend and even drier early next week behind a cold front. But heading into the weekend here Saturday morning, just a few clouds. You see some green on the map, but I'm not worried about any rain. We're looking at dry conditions for the weekend and then a front by Monday, maybe a couple of sprinkles, but behind that we're looking at much cooler air to build in more of a typical fall like air mass. 72 this afternoon, mainly cloudy, more sunshine later in the day. 58 tonight, it will be on the cool side. Watch for morning fog. Otherwise, Thursday, 75, partly cloudy, mild and drier. 77 Friday, mostly sunny. Weekend looking good. Maybe you're doing some apple picking or heading to the pumpkin patch. 79 on Saturday, mostly sunny. Sunshine on Sunday, 77. And then Monday, that front has brings us clouds in 76, but uh, cooler after that on Tuesday, high of 70, and then dipping into the 40s at night. Thank you, Bob. And coming up today on DSN, your game of the night live at 6, James M. Bennett will face off against Pocomoke in field hockey. Then at 8 p.m., you can catch an episode of Delmar into the Trenches. And at 1030, it's the final score. And on the DSN Plus app, your game of the night we just mentioned at 6 p.m., but also at that time, an app exclusive, James M. Bennett will take on Mardella in girls soccer. And at 530, another app exclusive, St. George Tech will play Odessa in volleyball. It is hump day, everybody, and here's what's coming up today at 4 on Coast Life. Clear your Sunday because we've got better weekend plans for you with UD's Coast Day. Ooh, and coming up very, very soon, a new show for you to see, a new musical, Heathers. Have you seen it? You haven't seen it like this at Milton Theater. We're going to show you why. We have that and some more today at 4 on Coast Life. The Camry legacy is earned through decades of continuous improvement. For timeless cars and lasting memories. Right now, buy a Camry with 3.99% APR. This is my legacy. Toyota, let's go places. Not everyone wants a big funeral. For those seeking a simple alternative, the Eastern Shore's most trusted family and funeral service offers another option. Eastern Shore Cremation and Funeral Service is simple and affordable. A direct cremation tribute starts at just $15.95 or choose to have a small visitation service serving Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia with easy consultation by phone and streamlined electronic documentation. Learn more at easternshorecremation.com. Eastern Shore Cremation and Funeral Services. Simply respectful.
It is important to have a supportive employer in your corner, a company that offers on-site health care to save you time and money. That's right, access to a doctor's office while at work at no cost to you. Work schedules to fit your lifestyle, matched 401k to prepare you for retirement, paid vacation, and more. A company that you can count on and grow with. A company that you can have a career with. An employer like Amic Farms. Visit countonamic.com to apply today. Life is full of unexpected moments. At Tunnel & Razor, we know the value of being prepared. We work closely with our clients to understand their goals and concerns in drafting their wills and powers of attorney. Estate planning isn't just for the wealthy. It's for anyone who wants peace of mind to know that their loved ones are taken care of. We will walk you through each step and make sure all your questions are answered. Our caring and skillful representation means your wishes will be respected and your family secure. Tunnel & Razor, your trusted partner in life's journey. Hi, this is Amber Brazier. Welcome to Brazier's Carpet Care. Drop off your rugs today or have us pick them up and let our state-of-the-art cleaning plant do the rest. Many methods are used to clean rugs, from air dusting to remove fine soil to soaking in our whirlpool. Hand knotted rugs are carefully washed, rinsed with cold water and wrung out, followed by a trip through the centrifuge before entering our controlled temperature drying room. We also repair all types of rugs from braided to hand knotted. Quality cleaning by people who care. That's Brazier's Carpet Care. Microsoft announced a major update to its Copilot AI system. The company says it added new features to make Copilot feel more personable. That includes a warmer tone that not only provides information, but also gives encouragement and advice. The new Copilot features include real-time voice interactions and the ability to interpret images and text on user screens. Microsoft is hoping this updated digital friend model will help it stand AI apart from other AI chatbots. Coast TV will be right back. Delmarva's Rock Station, 93.5, The Beach. The American Heart Association invites you to join the Southern Delaware Heart Walk. It's time to unite, take action, and save lives. Every walker who joins every dollar donated means more people trained in life-saving CPR, more research, and more life-saving moments for everyone. Join us at the Southern Delaware Heart Walk on November 3rd at the Rehoboth Beach Bandstand. Let's walk together to save lives. Register today at hark.org slash southern de walk. Sponsored by Coast TV. As I get older, I was getting a little off balance. Got the recommendations for baths by Bicep Brothers. I love my shower. It's, it's perfect for me. My favorite part was probably how quick and easy it was. They came in the morning and they were done by afternoon. I definitely wanted the grab bars. They also put the seat in, which was very nice. The wand is good, especially if you're sitting. So much safer to get in and out of now. It seems like my showers are quicker that way. So it's perfect. About 83% of homes have rodent activity. One of the most common signs is mouse droppings. Mice can leave up to 100 droppings every day. Don't mistake these droppings for chocolate sprinkles. What you don't see is more concerning. Mice also leave behind urine. A thorough inspection from a specialist is required to develop a treatment plan specific to your home. Active Pest Solutions, your local pest expert. For more information, go to ActivePestSolutions.com. That's active without the E. Are you troubled by strange smells, uncomfortable rooms, or mold in your home? Do you experience feelings of dread when you enter your crawl space or attic? Does your home suffer from slopes, sags, or other structural concerns? If the answer is yes, pick up your phone and call the home performance professionals like FLC Energy. Don't just treat the systems in your house. Treat your house as the system and call FLC. We're ready to believe you. We'll do the whole carpet in the whole house for five dollars. Wait, wait. He didn't even know how to do this. I thought you did. We are family owned and operated, but I don't think either of you are ready to install yet. At Matt the Carpet Guy, we have the best vinyl plank and carpet in stock. Bringing our showroom to you so you can feel confident in the carpet you choose. Matt the Carpet Guy in Selbyville and Salisbury. Flooring done right. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and the American Cancer Society estimates more than 310,000 women will be diagnosed with breast cancer this year. 
but a new report finds the number of women dying from the disease has actually dropped substantially over the past 35 years. However, these gains haven't been felt by all women, and as Breast Cancer Awareness Month kicks off, Mandy Gaither shows us the new data and what experts say it needs to be done to close the disparity gaps in today's Health Minute. It's good news, but also bad. First, a new American Cancer Society report reveals overall breast cancer death rates have plummeted 44% in the past 35 years. Which is really a, a dramatic decrease. And we think that's, you know, over 500,000 uh, breast cancer deaths have been averted, which is really spectacular. But researchers also discovered an upward trend in breast cancer incidents with the steepest increase in women younger than 50, rising by 1% each year between 2012 and 2021, and Asian American and Pacific Islander women of any age increasing in that time by up to 2.7% a year. The report also says that while more white women are diagnosed with breast cancer, more black women die from it, especially young black women. So if you're a black woman between the ages of 20 and 29, you're really two times more likely to die of breast cancer than, than, your, than your white classmate or your white colleague. Dr. William Dayhut believes screenings and new treatments have led to the overall breast cancer death rate drop, but he says closing the disparity gaps for all women will take more research. What is driving the cancer risk, whether you know it's obesity, um, you know changes in um, childbearing habits, uh, or really whether it's a lot of it may be driven to really access to the right kind of care. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. I'm seeing a little bit of blue sky in Ocean View, but lots of clouds surrounding those breaks on our gutter helmet cam. 69 right now, pretty much steady temperatures the rest of the day. And we'll see those clouds thinning out a little t later today with drier weather building in the rest of the weekend. A nice weekend on the way. Remember, another way to get your forecast is the Coast TV First Alert weather phone. It's sponsored by the law offices of Baird, Mandalas, Broxton, and Federico. Your 10 day forecast is coming up next. Here at the Delmarva Design Center, appliances, cabinetry, countertops, tile, and flooring come together in one showroom. We have specialists in each division, such as myself and countertops, to not only ensure you get the best product to fit your needs, but that your selection fits seamlessly with every element of your project. When I came into the Delmarva Design Center and see that big collection of slabs, that makes really the decision seamless. Delmarva Design Center. Great design starts with great inspiration. Selbyville, Delaware. Discover the wonders of our environment at UD's Coast Day on October 6th from 10 to 3 in Lewis. Hands-on science, research vessels, and more at this family-friendly event. More info, visit udel.edu slash coastday. Sponsored by Coast TV. Don't let other water heating services pressure you into making unnecessary fixes. Let the experts at Paradise Plumbing guide you. We are locally owned and operated with over 20 years of experience to help you identify the solution that will best fit your needs. Get your hot water flowing fast with a quick recovery heater from Rheem, in stock and ready to install for under $2,000. Pay nothing for 30 days or take advantage of our pay today discount. Call Paradise Plumbing today or visit us online at paradiseplumbingde.com. Get covered from the rain with a free Coast TV umbrella. Simply enter at coasttvumbrella.com for a chance to win. Then catch Coast TV News weekdays to see if you've won. Sponsored by Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling. Pulling up to a great looking home is nice. Curb appeal is important. But here on the coast, even more important is dock appeal. At TNG Builders, if you can dream it, we can create it. For uncompromising quality, contact TNG Builders to design and build your coastal dream home. Over 30 years of integrity, empathy, and love. TNG Builders, the sign of quality. Visit us online at tg-builders.com. Blue Coast Seafood Grill and Raw Bar in Rehoboth Beach is Delaware's premier restaurant. Located in Rehoboth Gateway, Blue Coast features indoor and outdoor dining and serves beautiful, simple food that highlights the coastal flavors of Southern Delaware. With chef-inspired daily specials, an award-winning wine list, and an extensive list of ales and cocktails, Blue Coast is the perfect place for a night out or celebrate any occasion in our private library dining space. Blue Coast Rehoboth, open seven days a week for lunch and dinner with plenty of free parking. See you soon. Dumping little bunnies? Pet rabbits. Why are so many being returned? Why are bunnies being abandoned and dumped? Who would do
do such a cruel thing. Next, Inside Edition. Today at 5.30 on Coast TV. Coming up. Chloe Stephanie. The It Girl's surprising confession. We all looked up to you. <laughs> Plus, the hottest and most affordable jeans trends. Wednesday at noon on Coast TV. We'll see lots of clouds the rest of your Wednesday. Some peaks of sun, especially later into the afternoon. Lower 70s inland, but with that breeze off the ocean, only 60s along the coast. Paul Davis, 10-day forecast, mid-70s Thursday, upper 70s Friday. A good-looking weekend with sunshine, upper 70s. And then a bigger cool down as we head into next week, starting on Tuesday and lasting through Friday. Thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News Midday. And for more news and local weather, download our Coast TV News app. And don't forget to join us for Coast TV News at 5 later this afternoon. Have a great day.